my sister had her baby last night. Isn't him so You're a mom and you're doing your best and you love them so much and that's what they're gonna remember. That's what they're going to really just care about. But now, her poop did it. Her did it. I know that you want to see him. I'm gonna show you him. Isn't him cute? Cute, cute. I know he's super cute. Good morning, you guys. Today is Sunday. Usually on Sundays, we just relax. Um, and we don't do much. We just hang out in bed for a while and then I am gonna start making breakfast. What do you wanna eat? So since Zion is asleep, I'm going to put on some makeup. Merit sent me this and I've been using it for the past two weeks and I freaking love it. It's a clean, minimalist makeup brand. It's just so easy to apply. I have pretty much all their products except for the brush. So I just use my fingers. They were sold out with the brush when I got my products. I'm going to show you guys how I put this on. So I used the foundation stick in the color sand. And I just put it all over under my eye. This is a two-in-one, so it's foundation and concealer. And I really like it. Put a little bit up here. And then I just blend it out with my finger. I love the coverage it gives me under my eye. That's it. I don't put any on my Forehead. I have like a little pinpoint here, so I'll just put a little dab right there. 
and blend it out finger. Then I just move on to my eyebrows and I use this little guy to brush them. And then they have this brow gel. I absolutely love it too. So I put on a Blink of Light lashes. So I'm not gonna put mascara on my top lashes because they're obviously false lashes. Um, but I'll just apply some at the bottom. I love this mascara. I've used it without my lashes on and just on my regular lashes and it does give me like really good volume. And then I also have their little blush. I use the color Beverly Hills and I just apply it on my cheeks. Apple my cheek. So easy. And I'm just gonna blend it out a little. Okay, I have their highlighter bounce. So I just put it up right here on my nose. Just kind of anywhere where I like the light will hit. And then I also like to put it on my finger and just apply it right here. This makeup is like really dewy and shiny which I really love, especially for summer. All right, and then the last product I have is their lip gloss. This is the Mara Marakek, Marak, I don't know how to pronounce that. I'll link it down below, but I really love this color. It's like a pretty, just like a nice little like lip tint. Looks so cute and I really like it. And that's it, you guys. Five minute makeup, super easy. I love these products. Um, your first purchase, you get this cute little bag. They have seven products in their line. And like I said, I didn't get the brush. That's the only thing I don't have. But I love everything about it. Clean, minimalist, perfect for moms, perfect for someone who doesn't like the heavy makeup look. Like this is very light, very easy. I don't feel like weighed down and just heavy. It's just super light and pretty and there's just like pops of color and i really like it so thank you to merit for gifting me these makeup products i love them so much and i'll link them down below so you can go check it out if you're interested okay so now that zion is asleep and ab is just playing in her room jc is awake so he's kind of like watching her I'm just sitting outside. It's a beautiful day. It feels so good out here. I'm going to journal. I'm gonna kind of just like write down five things I'm grateful for. I haven't journaled in a while and I just feel like it's a good way to just like make myself feel better. So I'm gonna do that. And on Sundays, I like to just plan out my days. So my calendar here, I'm just gonna look through and see what I have planned for the week and kind of like, write down some to do's things like that so i guess what i wanted to do is just answer some questions i got about zion's four month update so the first question i got was have you experienced guilt surrounding your first not being the only anymore how did you how do you cope so yes definitely lots of guilt i think as a mom you feel guilty no matter what and it's definitely hard to you know spread your time between two kids now and especially when you have a newborn who is dependent on you and needs you for everything it's hard to um figure out like how to spend your time and how to give each kid what they need and basically what I do is just give myself grace like I know that when I start feeling that guilt I just tell myself it's just a season and I try to tell myself that it's not gonna last forever and things will get better and Zion will get older and he'll be more independent and I'll be able to you know split that time a little better it's never gonna be a hundred percent balanced it's never gonna be you know perfect and I'm okay with that I just as a mom who is even feeling you like know that you're a good mom because you feel guilty about not giving you know your either kid 
the attention that they maybe deserve when they think back to their childhood they're gonna remember their mom being there and loving them and that's what i tried to remember is that av loves me and while i don't spend as much time with her now that than i used to i know that she knows that i love her and i guess that's all that matters so yeah i i definitely try to give av a little bit of one-on-one -on -one time whenever zion's asleep and i don't have things to do like right now obviously i'm doing this instead of spending time with her and that makes me feel guilty but it's like i have to also like do stuff for me and plan out things and get work done or you know that stuff's not going to get done and then it's our week's going to be just crazy so there's only one of me and there's only one of you and you just have to do your best and know that you're a good mom and that you're doing everything you can so all right next question is is zion an easier baby than av was um i feel like av was a good baby she was a really good baby the only things that and maybe it was just the way i was and because she was my first we didn't have her like on a sleep schedule and we did co-sleep with her and she slept with us gosh till she was like 18 months and that was really hard on me once i got to that point i was just like oh my gosh like i need sleep at that point she was eating all throughout the night and i felt like i wasn't getting great sleep at that point in the very early stages i knew that she needed that milk you know multiple times a night and so it didn't bother me it bothered me when she was over a year and i knew that she didn't need that milk anymore it was just a comfort thing it was just because it was there um and that's not her fault that was just our fault kind of for just <laughs> letting her do that and um not that i think anything's wrong with that i think that's a great way to um, sleep if that's how you want to sleep but this time around i decided that i would put Zion on a better schedule and see how he did and he is just such a good sleeper i mean even at four months i told y'all earlier like he i'll put him down at 7 30 8 30 and he'll sleep till at least 4 30 2 30 to 4 30. so he's sleeping so good i wouldn't say he was a better baby i think we just know what we're doing this time and so it's easier and i know what to expect so that's easier but av was a good baby and zion is a good baby and i wouldn't say one of them is better than the other i think i'm just more experienced this time because it's my second baby and so i know what to expect i know i just know that this stage isn't gonna last forever and so i'm trying to cherish that more and yeah so there's that and then i got another question that says does he like tummy time has he rolled over yet um he doesn't like tummy time i try to put him on his tummy and he just like puts his face down i'll try to show y'all later um when he wakes up but yeah he's he's not into tummy time and he does roll over though if he is on his stomach and he is up on his arms he will roll over to his back and he's been trying to roll over to his tummy even though he doesn't like tummy time yeah anytime we put him on his back he's like trying to roll over and he has done it a couple of times it's not like every time but he has and he's moving a lot now like i put him in his crib and i'll go to check on him and he's like completely like sideways so it's just so funny that he's just like moving so much and he's getting so big okay so next question i got is how are you managing your time with everything have you established routines so this is how i manage my time um, i sit down and i plan and it's not like hour by hour but it's just like okay on monday i want to get these three things done on tuesday i want to get these three things done i am a full-time wedding photographer and i'm also editing weddings for my friends and i'm also doing youtube and i'm also a mom and i'm also a wife and i feel like it can get really overwhelming if i put too much on my plate and if i expect myself to do like way too much so that is why i love this little calendar guy it's from may designs 
um, and I've had this for a while and like I said when I have something to do I will write it all down here and so um, I'll just kind of do my day for tomorrow and then I'll show you guys in a second how I do that but I have a main like full you know monthly calendar that I sit down and plan for the month and the week and then daily so lots of planning and if I don't do this then I feel overwhelmed and I feel like okay what I don't even remember like what I need to do what is priority what do I need to get done today and I just take it step by step day by day um another question I got was how is he sleeping I've kind of like touched on this he's sleeping really good like for naps for naps he usually sleeps um he usually takes four naps a day and they're anywhere from an hour to two hours and his wake time is about an hour to an hour and a half. What else? That's all the questions I got. If you guys have questions for me about him, definitely leave them down below. I'd love to answer them. He is the sweetest, calmest baby still. And I just love him so much. So, yeah, that's it for that. Um, I'm going to sit here and get this done. Kind of plan my week. Do a little bit of journaling. The bubbies all sunscreened up and you're ready for the pool. You're gonna blow that thing no, up for him? from the pool yeah um i got back and i was so hungry so i just started cooking dinner i made spaghetti and i put the kids in the bath for the first time together i've never taken them a bath together i usually just put them separately but i took them a bath today together and it was pretty easy um i don't know why i waited so long <laughs> they were so cute in there together and I have Zion right here. He's just smiling at me. Yeah, look at him. Look at that cute boy smiling. Yeah. Yeah. He's a sweet boy. He's a sweet boy. Um, he had, he's already taken a nap. And um, I'm about to put him down for the night. It's, it's 8.07. But I just wanted to show you guys... Um, his tummy time like how he does on tummy time what do you think so i'm going to show you guys because i told you i would show you earlier i'm going to do a little bit of tummy time before he goes to sleep yeah you ready you ready usually i do it on his uh, love every play mat it's in amy's room right now and she is asleep and i don't want to wake her up because um it has like those bells on it and if I try to grab it, it's gonna make a bunch of noise. Say, this is me, four months. I am so cute. I'm so cute. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. Ready? Ready? Yeah. 
He like tries to push. I'm like, buddy. Buddy. Hey. Yeah, he hey, Bubby. Bubby. Oh. Bubby. Up here. Bubby. Oh, there he goes. There you go. He did a roll. He just wanted to roll. Yeah. Aw, you mad at me. Yeah. Uh huh. He said, don't do that, mommy. You don't like it. Yeah. I know. Yeah, so that is on and tummy time. He hates it. He does not like it. He does not like it. But also, he's tired right now. I need to put him down for the night. He wants you to be a little baby forever and ever. Um, but he loves water. He loves baths. He loves the pool. Like, he did not cry one time today. And um, he is chewing on his hands, so I think he's teething a little bit. And he is sleeping good. He is... <laughs> He's just the best Bubby ever. He is. All right, so I kind of just wanted to catch you guys up while I sit here and fold some laundry. Um, Zion is asleep and AV is in bed. Um, I turned 28, May 23rd. It was my birthday and it was pretty boring. I didn't do much. Um, just went and got my nails done and my toes done and it was like a rainy day. I really wanted to go do something like a hike or something but it was just rainy and it's kind of been like that the last couple of weeks here in Austin. So I'm so glad that we went and got to go to the pool today because we hadn't been able to do that just because the weather had been kind of crazy yeah I just after my birthday hit I got sick and I had it was it felt like a cold or maybe allergies like I didn't really know what it was but I was just sick and you know I had so much to do and I was just kind of like in this uh, I don't know basically I got sick and it felt like after I got sick just thing was like piling up it was like bad thing after bad thing and nothing crazy it was nothing like too bad or anything that was like you know life-threatening or anything like that but it was like just all these little small things kept happening that i just it was just annoying and i had i was editing weddings for my friend brooke i'm a wedding photographer i'm a wedding photographer and um i also edit for photographers for some of my photography friends and i was editing weddings for my friend brooke and the hard drive that i was working off of just failed and i had already i was editing two weddings for her i had already finished one and i was like halfway through the second one and the hard drive failed and i tried everything and it just would not come back on um she of course has like multiple backups of these images so it's not like that was like the images were gone it was just that the editing I had done was gone and that was like 10 to 12 hours of you know of work that was just gone and so that was super stressful and then my sister called me on Tuesday and she was like hey I'm out of six and I'm I think I'm gonna go into labor can you come down here to videograph and photograph the birth and I you know help her through it and i was like of course like yes and so i got all of our stuff together and um i headed down there and i got there tuesday evening and she said you know my contractions are kind of slowing down i went over there hung out with her for a little bit went back to my dad's house which is where i stay it's about a three hour drive from here and only like 15 minutes from caitlin my sister and um so I went to my dad's house and just told her to call me whenever, you know, things got serious. Uh, that next day, you know, she still was like, they're not getting any more serious. Like, I'll tell you when they get more, I'll tell you when they get more intense. So we went swimming at, um, just 
to family friend's house and then we we went home and i just waited for caitlin and she texted me that night and was like hey things are starting to pick up and this was wednesday night and i was like okay um you know just let me know well i go to sleep that night and you know nothing happens she texts me in the morning and she's like this baby's being stubborn it's, nothing's happening and i basically just have i have to leave at this point because i have a wedding on saturday which was yesterday and uh, i just wanted to get home and like you know get everything settled and all that so i ended up having to leave and she had her baby last night and um she didn't know the gender so she found out the gender and it's a boy so him and zion are gonna be best friends they're only four months apart so cute and I'm so excited for her and it just sucks that I couldn't be there. So that was disappointing, but that's okay. Just life sometimes, babies come when they're ready, but that kind of sucked. And the day I got home, which was Thursday, um, I ended up getting the worst migraine that I have had in such a long time. My head was pounding. It was just hurting so bad and it was just, thing after thing on my way home that day i got a huge huge crack in my windshield a rock hit it and i you know we'd gone like five years without any any cracks so that sucked and i broke a nail so that sucked it's just little things that like don't even matter on their own but the fact that it was just like piling up and happening you know kind of within a week of each other it just it was just a lot. All of that stuff doesn't really matter on its own, but with someone who has depression and anxiety, I feel like when things pile up like that on me, I get very overwhelmed and I start to feel down and I just get this like ugly feeling in my gut. Like I just feel like, oh, what's the next thing that's gonna happen? And I'm just like expecting the next bad thing to happen, which is totally not healthy or good thursday night after i had that headache you know i talked to jc and he was like just go ahead and take a bath and um so that's what i did i took a bath i took one of my favorite books which is the four agreements and i read that i read about two chapters of that in the bath this was like after my headache had gone away and I just felt so much better after that and i just told myself like you just need to do things that make you happy and you know don't focus on the bad things that are happening because that's what i was doing i was just like focusing on the bad things and not any of the good things and so yeah uh today i really tried to focus on the good things and i hope you guys saw that because i i got up and i made myself a really good breakfast i you know put makeup on which makes me feel good about myself and i planned out my week which also helps me like stay on track we went swimming we got vitamin d we got out of the apartment and i felt so much better today and i just i hope i can just keep doing that throughout the week and i'll definitely keep you updated i'll probably vlog again at the end of this week and just let you guys know how it's going but so far so good i'm gonna end the vlog here so i hope you guys had a great time hanging out with us today thank you for stopping by give this video a thumbs up if you like it it helps my channel so much and comment down below that also helps my channel so bye you guys see you in the next one